The crowd had plenty to cheer for on the night session with Canada's Vasek Pospisil taking on the big server from Croatia, Ivo Karlovic. Night is starting to dominate. As we look at the uh, first set, that really neither player dominated. You certainly wouldn't say that. The numbers, I would imagine, will be very, very close between these two. Pospisil, though, just found the big shots when required, in particular at the end of that tiebreak. Yeah, and I think he'll be pretty happy with himself that it was solid when it mattered. So often it's not about playing spectacular winners on the big points, but just making your opponent yeah, play. Yeah. And he did just enough of that. And, uh, perhaps deserving of that opening set. I mean, luckily the difference between them were those two double faults in the tiebreaker. Let's have a look at the uh, second sets. And uh, Karlovic just seemed to lose his way, lost his rhythm, maybe after that little rain break. Yeah, not too much, though. I think you've got to give Sok a lot of credit for the shots that he came up with when it really mattered, just as he said you know, when he was being interviewed there by Stephen after the match. The shot here on break points, I mean, that is right out the top draw. And again, the reflexes to put that back in play and find the gap. Wonderful. So, yeah, for me, it was more a case of Pospisil stepping up when it mattered rather than Karlovic letting himself down. There it is again. That one made a difference. Yeah, there's your marker for every other player to try and match for the rest of this tournament. Have a look at the numbers. Karlovic never got the big serve going. Pospisil was consistent throughout. And you have a look at uh, the unforced errors. 27-10, Karlovic just are missing too many times throughout this match to really trouble the young Canadian. Our very own Kiwi boys, Daniel and Satak, had the number one seeds first up, and it was Kaval and Farah. What a set of tennis, so clean, returned well, half percentage of first serves as far as the Kiwis were concerned, and didn't lose a single point when that first serve found its mark. And the return of serve was a real feature as well. Initially from SeaTac, there's another, but also Marcus Daniel chiming in. Yeah, it's great team performance, no question about it. So many good points, and of course, that helped engage the crowd. And as, uh, we look at uh, a second set that uh, was again high quality, and there were critical moments for both the uh, combinations. And it was the quality of play, really, that uh, kept any breaks of serve to a minimum. I mean, this was a great point, wasn't it? So many of them, great reflexes. the quality of the volley. Oh, this was a massive point. That was to hold serve for all after being down love 40. And then this reflex to keep them in it. 4-3 in the tiebreaker. Well, I'm amazed, you know, that uh, our team were able to find uh, that shorter highlights package because really you could just watch a replay of the match and there are the numbers with that uh, first serves one at 87 percent for SeaTac and daniel the points one at the net they were going at two to one 20 to 10 and the unforced error is pretty level between these two pairings but the number one seeds are gone beaten by the kiwis daniel and SeaTac through to the quarterfinals